Hello, Force here. How are you today? Well, today is Tuesday, the 15th of September. We are going to check pages from the Quadernillo. Yes, pages 100 and, uh, well, reading number 9 and reading number 10, those pages. We are going to go to the video watch. Yes, I want you to open your files. Yes, and check your mistakes. Yes, because your tests, yes, are already corrected. Yes, check mistakes. Okay, is it clear? Open your files, please. Well, wait a minute. Okay, well, right. So, can we go to the pages from the Quadernillo? Yes, okay. So, let's check. Oops, I have many things here. All right. Yes, okay, 115 and 16, okay? Well, so, uh, 1D, 2B, 3D, yes, okay? And then you have number 5, uh, 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 handbook, uh, Guide for Applying, Science and Geography, okay, number six, true, A, false, sorry, A, false, and B, true. Is it clear? Okay. So let's go to 117, 118. Atención aquí, eh? Okay, one. Is getting on a bit, you know, about 60. Two, mythical country. Three, rot that in all over. There are no places where my own skin color shows. Four, I can start with the character building. Five, uh, 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 and four, so I live my char character's life. Five, finger faces, the expression we make when we are angry or afraid. Six, anger and fear lines on my skin with dark color. Lines from, uh, of, on your forehead, from your nose to your mouth. Um, seven, sad, a sad expression, the t title lines you get when your face is sad. Little line, perdón, no title, okay? Uh, eight, I put white on the parts that stand out, Light, highlight the bones, have your hair so the kind do, blah, blah, blah. That main a false hair is what I wear. Nine, that we. Ten, crown thing, headdress, okay? Well. And then I go write the mistakes. Yes, okay. I was driving her car, well, it's okay. Then, so could not, she could not, any, está mal escrito, has learned. Uh, a car came out from the road. Uh, Mr. Mrs. McNabb's garden, the possessive went through the large window inside the window there was mrs and uh mrs and mrs uh, mr and mrs drove in the pool stopped without a p remember you have consonant um uh, consonante vocal yes okay duplico la consonante yes okay started to sink yes okay uh and they went into the pool, they tried, uh, was only up to their waist, was very shocked, she ought not to have turned, uh, other car coming, should have been able, yes, and uh, she also said she will 
have some more driving lessons for from tomorrow. Yes, okay, that was all from here. And let's go to the uh, unit, you know, uh, 11F, the vocabulary, yes, and the video watch, yes, learning sign language at school, yes, okay. So why do people use these three things? Uh, here is A, sign language and lip reading, yes, because they have some problem, yes, okay. People who are hard of hearing use hearing aid. It's device, it is device that, a device that goes in the ear which amplifies or redirects sound waves so that the person wearing it can hear them. People who are deaf or very hard of hearing use sign language or lip, yes, reading, to communicate. Sign language involves using your fingers and hands to represent words so that a deaf person can see what you are saying. Lip reading is a skill deaf people learn. They can recognize what people are saying from the movement of their lips, okay? So it would be very interesting that uh, people learn this uh, way of communication, yes? Finger spelling, there you have the British Sign Language, yes? So, this video is very interesting. So you are going to do exercises 2, B, yes, okay? Uh, 3, 4, 5 and 6, that's all, okay? So be ready because you are going to watch the video now, yes, and then I will send it to you all the same, as always, okay? Are you ready? I was really young, probably kindergarten or first grade. I have a much older brother, and we'd go out to recess, and uh, there was this older guy, he might have been in like fifth or sixth grade. So when I was really young, probably kindergarten or first grade, I have a much older brother, and we'd go out to recess, and uh, there was this older guy, he might have been in like fifth or sixth grade, that always used to pick on us. So when I was really young, probably kindergarten or first grade, I have a much older brother, and we'd go out to recess, and uh, there was... This older guy might have been in like fifth or sixth grade, but always used to pick on us, and I didn't even know what to do about it. Today we went to a high school, and I. So, what was the difficulty in the first one? Oh my god! Imagine when you are not, when uh, you, uh, you can't listen, yes, when you are not able to listen. Okay, so it's very frustrating, yes, because you can't understand what the other person is saying, okay? I was posing for a picture with all of my girlfriends, and I had a photo of one of them both photos. Can you read my lips? Can, can, can you read my lips? Can you read my lips? Can you read her lips? We got some time you want friend. She stole a little pocket from me. Can you read her snips? I have two dogs, uh, one boxer. Okay, imagine it happens to you, yes? Can you read my lips? So that is the question, yes? If you really, really concentrate and if you, and if you really make the effort of, effort, of course you can, you will be able to read other person, other people's lips, 
Yes, but you have to concentrate on that. You have to focus on the other person. And of course, there are many things that you have to have into account when you have to read your lips, okay? Imagine you have to read your li uh, the lips of other people, yes, okay? And to understand what uh, they are saying. So it could be very, very, very uh, difficult, yes, okay? So if they speak very loud, it could be an inconvenient too, yes? If they cover their lips, it could be another inconvenient. Yes, okay, so uh, the accents, yes, the background knowledge, now you will listen to another thing, yes, background knowledge, yes, okay, so listen. <laughs> It's a hilly one. I'm with an eye on the fish well, not the auditory. The bird that we don't. Okay, so they rely on the visual thing. Yes, okay? On the visual thing, not on what they listen. All right? So this is very interesting. Implies reading. Like reading a book whose text is legible and clear. But the human face is it a book. And the reading is it reading. People mm -hmm. mumble. People talk fast enough. Now the people have a book. Okay, so people laugh. Yes, people. Imagine if you have to read my lips. Yes, okay. It could be almost impossible. Because I, because I speak very, very fast. So uh, people cover their mouths when they are talking. They speak very fast, yes? So they have to rely on gestures, yes? Mouths, people have accents. The accent too. But we are professionals don't think this in a studio. What I always take, uh, tell you, real conversation doesn't take place in a classroom. It could take place where? At an airport, at a disco, when you are doing gymnastic, when you are at the gym, yes? So it doesn't take place on the studio. So that wha that's why sometimes I play you some music as a background, yes, okay? I make you jump, I make you do different things because real conversation is not sitting in a classroom. It could be anywhere, yes? At a, stu at, uh, at a disco, at, um, uh, at the gym, yes? In the streets, in the, uh, in the train, at the train station, yes? Okay, at the airport, yes? So there could be sounds. Yes, the background sounds like that sound. Yes, okay. I'm putting it together a vessel without all the pieces. I look in a new mouth and try to grasp with one stance information intended for another. There have been times when I question why I even tried to get me to make me this wrong, when I could just use sign language. Some deaf people choose to do just that. It's like a different word, a word filled with rich expression and culture. When people sound, they come alive. But I know I want both words. Communication is never a given. Tuesday, I woke up at a restaurant. just pulled my dress out. When I was little, my family got a cat. Like, 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 when I focus on one natural face and launch into a conversation, something clicks. Right then, 
I feel something extraordinary. Human connection. Very interesting. Now, can you read my lips? Yes, and something very interesting comes. Yes, that is communication. Yes, human communication. Yes, so it could be very interesting to learn that with that uh, sign language. Yes, to communicate. Yes, okay, because it's different. Yes, they can feel, they can communicate. Yes, okay, well, so um, let's go. Very interesting. Yes, very, very, very interesting. Okay, so um, there we are. Yes, two. Let's go to two B. One B, two A, three E, four F, five D, six E. Yes, okay. Three, okay. Roger saying at the end of the video, can you read my lips? Yes, okay. Well, number four, the video is trying to demonstrate what it is, it is like for a hard, yes, uh, hard of hearing or a deaf person to try to understand what someone is saying. The, the only way they can try to understand is by watching the movement of the person's lip, yeah, lips. It's demonstrating how hard this is. Yes, of course, it's very, it's very hard. It makes you um, be in the other people's shoes. Yes, okay. Uh, number five, things that make lip reading difficult. Yes, you know, people uh, talking fast, laughing, covering their mouths. Yes, okay. People, um, the accent, the background noise. Yes, okay. And in six, it says, she says she wants to do both and doesn't state a clear preference for one over the other, but she seems to be more passionate about lip reading, yes? When it works well, she feels something extraordinary, yes? She feels that she can communicate, yes, okay? Human connection, because when you communicate, you feel the connection, and it's very hard for them to feel that connection, yes, okay? so. Uh, it, it was a very, 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 very interesting video. Yes, okay. Um, I will send it to you. You uh, will be able to listen again, to do all the activities. And as homework, remember, you have to do Quadernisio uh, pages 39, 40, 43, 44 and 45. Have a nice afternoon. Please open your files and see your corrections, okay? Those that I corrected were very well done, okay? Okay, well, bye-bye. See you next class. Have a nice afternoon.